Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question, multiple choice question. In the given circuit, the AC source has omega equal to 100 radian per second. Considering the inductor and capacitor to be ideal, the correct choice is oblique R. Option first A, the current through the circuit I is approximately 0 0.3 ampere. Option B, the current through the circuit I is approximately 0 0.3 root 2A. Option C, the voltage across 100 ohm register A in root 2 volt and option D the voltage across 50 ohm register A in volt. You see what the question says here we have given input potential 20 volt and uh, frequency angular frequency that is 118 per second and here the current passing through from this input that is this I and splitting in two parts using Kirchhoff law. Here splitting into part I1 and I2. Here I1 and they are containing resistance and the capacitor in series. And second part, second circuit that is containing inductor and resistance. Okay. One by one we have to find out the I1 and I2. But before find out the I1 and I2, we have to find out the impedance. Okay. In the circuit first, let us consider this is A circuit and this is B circuit. Here Impedance Z equal to here the capacitance. So capacitance reactance X square, X C square, and uh, R square. Before we have to solve this, X C is we know that omega C. Okay. So here, what is omega is given? Omega is given 100. And what is C? Capacitance is given that 100 microfarad means 100 micro means 10 to power minus 6. Then XC become 10 raised to power 6 and 1 0 0 0 4 0. Okay. Then XC become 100. Okay. So here 100 ohm XC. So now substitute this value 100 square and R. What is R? That is also 100 ohm. So 100 ohm. How much? That is 1 0 0. Again this value. So Z equal to 2 0 0. So here 100 root 2 that is impedance. Okay. Here we get Z. And for I1, what is I1 potential? Here in this whole system is in parallel. So therefore potential and Z that is 20, 100 root 2, 21 are 20, and 25 are 100, then 1 upon 5 root 2 ampere. That is I1. Okay. Is clear now? Let's see the, what is the phase difference between the capacitor and the resistance. Power factor, what is the formula of power factor? We know that power factor cos phi equal to r by z. What is r? That is 100. Okay, and uh, what is z? Impedance that is 100 root 2. 100, 100 cancel out, then cos phi is 1 by root 2 it means phi equal to 45 degree okay is it clear so therefore phase is phase difference is 45 degree between the capacitor and the resistance now for the second part we have to find out i2 and before we have to go into the formula we have get the impedance xl we know that omega l and what is omega omega is 100 and l is 0 0.5 that is uh, xl how much that is 50 ohm so z equal to 50 square plus here again 50 square so z equal to 50 root 2 ohm okay so here we get z impedance z 50 root 2 ohm so here I2 equal to again potentially same 20 upon 50 root 2. So here 0, 0 cancel out. Then I2 equal to 2 by 5 root 2. 
rationalizing the terms we'll get 2 root 2 and uh, 5 into 2 that is cancel out root 2 by 5 okay so here we get i2 now again we have to find out the phase difference phi 2 that is r by z cos phi 2 equal to r by z here what is r that is 50 and what is z here z is 50 root 2 50 50 cancel out then cos phi cos phi 2 that is 1 by root 2 again phi 2 equal to 45 degree so here the difference 45 and then 45 then total phase difference is equal to phi 1 plus phi 2 means 45 degree plus 45 degree how much that is 90 degree it means here the current i1 and i2 the distance uh, the phase difference is 90 degree so resultant i can be find out i equal to root i1 square plus i2 square okay so now substitute this value i equal to we are rationalizing the term root 2 root 2 then root 2 by 10 plus your root 2 by 5 then what is the value that is 2 by 100 and here 2 by 25 solving this value will get 0 0.31 something okay so here the net current is uh, 0 0.31 ampere now next part we have to find out here the potential from 100 and for 50 so therefore here we have to find out the potential for the 100 ohm resistance that is potential equal to i1 into 100 what is the value of i1 that is 1 by 5 root 2 into 100 then that is 20 equal to 20 by root 2 okay if you want to be rationalized then it becomes 20 root 2 by 2 that is 10 root 2 for this potential 10 root 2 means v1 okay now for 50 means we have to find out v2 that is i2 what is i2 root 2 by 5 divided by into 50 so 5 tens are 50 here v2 equal to 10 root 2 volt so v2 equal to 10 root 2 volt now let's see which options are correct now in the option the current through the circuit i is approximately 0 0.3 ampere so yes i equal to 0 0.31 ampere it is correct so first option is also correct and option b the current through the i is approximately 0 0.3 root 2a it is wrong option c the voltage across 100 ohm resistance 100 ohm resistance the potential is 100, uh, 10 root 2 volt yes it is 10 root 2 volt it is also correct and uh, option d the voltage across 50 ohm resistance 10 volt that is wrong so therefore the correct options are a and c i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely for your success all the credit goes to your hard work but if my video will help for your success then i will consider myself lucky Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.